starting recording so today i will discuss about a stock transfer okay so tra stock transfer is different transfer posting is different okay okay so the transfer posting it, it, it might be like uh, the stocks will be moving from the uh, uh, logically and physically maybe either either one thing is logically or it is physically but in the stock transfer it is completely um, transfer uh, which is like a are uh, moving the stock from one location to other location okay so in this so uh, uh, stock I, I didn't get i didn't get i didn't get stock transfer a difference between stock, stock, stock transfer. transfer stock transfer is the physically stock will be moved okay even okay. transfer posting also will be moved but it is like uh, we have both like logical and the uh, physical both it is there but in the stock transfer it is physically moving the stock entirely okay the stock in stock, will be in stock transfer we are physically moving the stock Huh. their location and in different plans it will be different different plans so we will be moving the stock by using okay. the stock transfer in transfer posting it's internally transfers which is like uh, uh, logically might be we have the logically transfers or it may be we have the physical transfers also okay logically transfer means just on document or how logical transfer means okay. it is there in the same store location but you are just putting into the unrestricted to quality quality to block block to unrestricted you are not moving you are not physically moving right it might be uh, it's like i'm just restricting this stock okay these are not uh, not users of stock right if you have a different different blocks you can put it there okay yes okay. so now coming to stock transfer okay uh, we have plan to plan transfer it is the main process so plan to plan transfer again we have we already discussed that three two process right plan to plan transfer okay one is okay one plan to plan transfer which is like we already discussed that these two process right so these are the transfer posting now i'm just talking about the plan to plan transfer using the stock transfer okay so in this case what will be happen here um, in the transfer posting what will happen it is there all we are doing in the MIGO screen only okay if you remember that all these things we don't have any reference documents so. did you have any reference document in MIGO no. screen all right all these things we are doing directly by using transfer posting but in the stock transfer what will happen we have the uh, particular references okay any after transfer which we have the reference document okay so let's go with that first we have the three process are there in the stock transfer okay general for one thing is plan to plan transfer it is okay but we are doing mm route okay only we are using mm uh, transaction code we are not using any other transaction codes to transfer the stock mm route okay so what is the meaning of this one no shipment here no shipment that means uh, from outbound delivery we don't have anything we have we don't need to create outbound delivery and shipment and all documentation it no shipment here and no, no billing also here okay and it should be it will be work only uh within the same company code within the same company code between the two between uh two plans okay now uh so let's see if you uh, in this process what we happen first we'll create the stock transport order stock transfer order we will be creating the stock transfer order okay by using the uh, ma 21 and we will be creating the PO. that means the receiving plant will be re uh, requesting these are the codes we are required okay the receiving plant will be requested to the supplying plant okay so in this case what will be happen we have the order we have creating the patch order here stock transfer order, order is the patch order so we we are we are getting the requirement from the the, the opposing opposition plant they are requesting that they need stock in the above situation if you see right in the above situation we don't know what is the requirement it is an assumption or it may be by call or something whatever maybe it is just like assumption we are just transferring the stock but in this case we have the proof like okay the receiving plant they are requested this product so i must be have the some order i must be have the order to tracking that okay clear Okay. okay so that is the first step here patch order will be creating then uh, after, after that we will be issuing the goods issue okay to the uh, from where it will be happen goods issue from supply plant okay 
where it will happen, go to CCO from supply and plant. Uh, we are using the MIG water and set board. Then we'll be uh, receiving the goods. That means uh, goods received. Receiving plan, that means goods received in in where 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 we are receiving goods received in receiving plan, right? So receiving plant will do will be creating the PO and uh, receiving the goods and the supplying plant will be sending the goods. Sending or supplying the goods. Clear? So only these three steps will be there in the this process. Okay. So this is a one one kind of a process. So okay, process one. This is the one kind of a process one. Clear? Any question in this process one? Any any questions in the process one? So how PR PO is generated? I mean, the asking plant is generating PR to who who have stock. See, your required product, so you are yes. requesting to me. Okay, you are raising the order and within I'm supplying plant. the goods. Within a plant. Between the plants, not within the plant, between the plants. So first, yes. this is the receiving plant and this is the supplying plant. This is the supplying plant is different and the receiving plant is different. Okay, if I have the company, I have the company, the big company we have, and we have the two plants, which is the manufacturing plant and the depot plant or branch or something. So I'm just transferring from here to here. Okay. So they're requesting first. Okay. The, the people will be requesting first the goods. Okay. This is the what we requested and we need this product and all. Okay. So what they will do first, they will be creating the purchase order. The supply, the receiving plant will be requested that okay, I need this stock. So you are, why you are uh, why you are creating purchase order? First thing, tell me about that. Why, why we are creating the purchase order? Because it's a requir requirement. So here also it is the same requirement in the, in the receiving plant. That is the requirement. Okay. And, and then uh, normally we used to raise PO on vendors. Which is right. registered with company. So the, here we have to raise PO to the plant. Plant, other plant. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Okay. So in this case, we are creating PO, which is we are we general call as a stock transporter, stock transporter. Okay. In this case, we are creating first uh, the receiving plant will be creating purchase order and the supply plant will be issuing the stock. Goods issue. Okay. Clear? Is it clear? Yes. Now, again, uh, once it is done, the receiving plant will be receiving the stock. Okay. So, this is the uh, STO process. Okay. So, there is no uh, other uh, stock transfer order. Okay. Which we are using MM road without any, without any CPO, any shipment and uh, or without any billing. Okay. No shipment, no billing. So it's clear here. Yeah. The process. Yes. Getting some echo. Okay, clear? Any questions? No. Okay. Now let's go to that. Uh, uh, there. The next one, process two, there is the second process, okay? So there is a stock transfer order. We are using stock transfer order here, okay? The same process, the transfer between the, so the stock will be moving from one place, one plant to other plant, okay? So this is the like same between the two plants within the same company core, okay? So between the two plants and within the same company core, what will be happen here? Okay, which shipment we are going? Okay, which shipment we are going? So here, uh, we don't need to create any billing here because, okay, we are not, we don't need to create any billing because both are in the same company code. So legally, it is like it just transferring to one plant to other plant. So there is no impact on the 
uh, in of the uh, tax level any impact to profit and loss at the uh, company code level there is no impact because it is my internal plan so i'm just transferring because they want to do some other activity or maybe they want to sell the product or something we are just transferring the goods okay right clear so but why we are creating the shipment here okay since it is like a uh, long it is maybe if you see that i am in hyderabad you are in a bangalore so the goods which is moving from one location to other location this long pro it's like from hyderabad to bangalore is moving okay so they must be need some uh the shipment cost and shipment the uh, transportation and uh, moreover it is like uh, the delivery documents will need to be created because okay in case uh, the sale uh the uh, maybe the state to uh, uh who like uh, sales department they are catching you and they're asking requesting that uh, show me that bill where you bought and did you pay that gst and did you pay that uh, local tax did you pay that central tax all these things then you can just tell that okay these for these are the goods which we are not uh, doing any kind of sales it is just like we are transferring to the goods so while manufacturing and when selling to the customer we will be paying that amount to whatever it is required so we don't need to pay in this case right so so what will happen with shipment why we are showing that okay there is a, i have the proper documentation delivery documents and everything and just clearly saying that it is just, just transfer it is not selling okay so shipment is the is when you have the shipment okay like you are moving from one location to other location other place, then in that case you must be go with the shipment okay so there should be like a shipping and the transportation loading and loading all these things will be happen so in this case what will be happen the step one is has this there will be a stock transfer order which is created okay so the the receiving plan the requested or uh, the order which is like in the receiving plan they are requested okay so the stock transfer order which is created by using the me21n transaction code then the step two it will be go like okay uh, using this uh, order okay the supplying plan they are preparing the shipment okay so when they are preparing the shipment they need a reference document that reference document is outbound delivery so they will be preparing the outbound delivery creation okay they will be creating the outbound delivery creation by using the above sto order the reference then by using this uh, um, shipment uh, sorry by using this outbound delivery they will be do the pga post goods issue okay then they will be pre preparing the delivery note and uh, they will be putting that all this information just transfer and everything they will do the pga in the supply plan okay. so the outbound delivery and the uh, pga both will be happen in the supply plan only supplying supply plan then then after they are issued from their location what they will do they will create one dummy uh dummy billing okay why because i just need to be showed up to the by department like whoever maybe they have the sales department excise department whoever they catching you we just showing that this dummy billing and in the billing document what will be happen okay we just telling that it is just to transfer not to for sale just for transfer okay not for sale so like uh, it will be uh, what we say hey this we call as a pro forma invoice this invoice we call as a pro forma invoice it's not a actual invoice it is like a dummy invoice okay so that dummy will be created in the again supply plant when they are distributing the goods from their location okay they will be sending this code they, they will be sending this uh, pro forma invoice to the uh, other location okay so here uh, they will be creating the performance voice in the supply plan okay so the, so by this process we cover the shipment okay so in the st side they will be doing the shipment process like they will be creating outbound delivery pga and uh, billing and all so by using this process this was completed shipment then step 5 is the, we are receiving the goods goods received okay in the receiving plan in receiving plan okay so it is a magic so simple here it is like a these three steps so generally vendor will be performing if you have the vendor pivot now it is a uh, stvo pivot our supply plan will be 
doing this process. Okay? So, it's, so because this is STO, not a vendor PO. Clear? So, same thing. It is, there is no nothing difference. It is the same thing it is. But only add on to that other after that PO, instead of they are directly issuing the stock, okay, they are doing creation of outbound delivery, PGA, and they are performing the billing and all to perform that uh, shipment to related all the documents, activities, then they will be doing that. Then I will be receiving the goods. Okay. Clear? Any questions? No, nope, I'm good. What about others? No. Okay. Now I actually feel it's confusing. What what is confusing? Tell me. Um in first we have uh, we have uh, raised PO mm -hmm. and that was stock transfer. Okay. And here we are doing uh, I mean from where to where stock is going, why we are generating that billing document. Mm -hmm. That's a bit confusing. What what is confusing? See, if you if you are selling to the customer, okay. If you are suppose you are the vendor, let's say assume that you are the vendor. Okay, you are supplying the goods to me. So what document will be prepared? That I understand, but this is within a company only, no? Ah, uh, within the company, but how how some department how they know? See, suppose I'm just doing from the one location to other location. It's like a too far. Let's say it is for 150 kilometers are there. Okay. Did you expect that someone will not catch you? The sales department, tax department, finance department, maybe the exchange department, our quality department, yeah. anyone? Did they not did you expect that they will not catch you? You cannot yeah. go directly, right? You will they will catch you, right? So you must be have this proper documentation, right? Yes. So in, if you don't if you need the proper documentation, you must be have that to proper uh, delivery note and proper billing, everything you should be right. So uh, did you, uh, okay, so one question. So how many people shifted from one location to other location? The goods like your home, household items. Did you transfer? Huh? Did you transfer or not? Okay, so when you transferring this one, they are giving that one actual uh, document, which is like, uh, uh, which is clearance document, which is like uh, which goods it is, who is the tracker and who is the tracker name and uh, who is the, uh, how, when it will be get and who is supplying these goods, all these things you are getting. And other than this one, what items you are getting, all these things we are getting. Then other than this one, you are also getting the billing. So you are getting the billing also. Why you are getting two to three documents? It's like clearance, right? So they need to be clearly informed to the when you are moving from one state to other state, or maybe you are moving from one location to other location. You must be have the clearance document. Clearly, you have to be sure that this is the delivery or not, which we are sending these goods from this location to other location, and this is the billing. This is a dummy billing because it's not so. We are not selling to the product. We are just transferring to one location to other location. We are creating the pro forma invoice. In this pro forma invoice, we are clearly mentioning that the goods value is zero. We are not selling to that. Okay, you just transfer from one location to other location, and we don't need to pay anything. And this one, maybe. Uh, in first process, we are just transferring or within uh, a... It is a side-by-side. Side. It may be side-by-side. Side. Yeah. So, when it is a side-by-side, side, we don't need to be created on the documents because it is just near-to-near. Near. Right? Last time when we discussed, right, there is an outlet. There. They are transferring just goods from here to there. So, we have some proof here. That's all. The proof, it is there. That's all. Based on that proof, you are sending the goods. But in this case, we have the proof. And moreover, it is moving from one location to other location. It's like too far, maybe 50 kilometers, 200 kilometers, 150 kilometers. So when they started to catch you, then you just explain about that all these documents. This is what the delivery note and this is what the documents we are preparing that. Okay. Clear? Yeah. yeah. So this is what, so there is no confusion here because which shipment is nothing but like a 
when they are selling the goods or when they are transferring from the their location from HD point of view, they need to be create the proper delivery notes and they have to be properly billing documents and everything, clearance documents and tax invoices and all these things. They must be have that. Okay, that they will be created. Okay, it is completely these two three steps will be created by HD team. Okay, clear. Is it clear? Yep. Any questions? For me, no. I don't okay. Know. Okay. Now let's go to the process tree. Process tree. Okay. So this is the, okay. In the above, this is called intra intra STO. This is the we called intra STO process. Okay, if they are in the interview point of view, if they are asking about that, what is the uh, uh, what is the intra STO process? Then you have to be explained here. Okay, clear. Intra STO process. This is the intra STO. Okay, so intra STO is nothing but like a within the same company code between the two plans. Okay, between the two plans. Now the process tree. Okay, so here also we are creating a STO stock transporter. Okay, between the two plans. But these two plans are across the two company code. Okay. Yep. So basically different company? Yeah, different company codes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is called inter inter STO. Inter STO process. That means between the two company codes here. Okay. So here what will be happen? Obviously, we need a shipment because you are transferring from one location to other location. We are, you need a shipment and with billing. Why we need here billing? Because even it is a uh, within a within our uh, company corporate company, but it is a different company code. So legally, it is like a selling or buying concept. Okay, so you are selling the product to the supply the supply company code. So legally selling the product to to receiving plan receiving company code clear okay in this case you must pay create the actual billing so they have to pay the amount so in the above if you see that we are not getting anywhere the payment because all it is going in the inside the my company code so there is profit and loss account there is no nothing loss but in this case it is a loss because if you are uh, selling the product, you are selling the product. So you are maintaining your books and inventory, everything it is at company code level. You just need to be maintained uh, billing. You have to be send up billing. Yeah. What is the question? No, I don't have any. Okay. Anyone have? Okay. So in this process, Okay, again, I still have, will be created by uh, receiving company code. Receiving company code level. The plant will be created. Then S2 on set, S2 created, outbound delivery will be created. Outbound delivery will be created. Okay, at a supply plant level. Supply company code level. Okay. Then. Uh, they will do the PGA postcode issue at supply company code level. Okay, then they will be creating the billing again. That this is the actual billing. Okay, this is the uh, customer billing. Okay, we call just say that customer billing. Okay, so this generally we call as inter company billing. Okay. To differentiate the normal customer billing and uh, intercompany billing, we just creating the other document type. Okay, so you can create with the intercompany billing. So this is the actual billing. So you are uh, again, it is creating in the supply company core level. Okay, then uh, uh, receiving plan. Plant will be receiving the goods, goods received. It are receiving company core. Okay, receiving plant level. They they will be receiving the goods. Okay, then. The invoice, whatever 
the billing which is created right this billing document number okay based on this is the billing document they are creating the invoice here vendor invoice that is the company intercompany invoice intercompany invoice okay so then uh, the receiving plan so the intercompany invoice will be re received by receiving plan and it will be created by receiving company code then um then payment payment will be happen at receiving plan and sorry receiving company code level then re payment received by payment received by supply company code, supplying company code is it clear any questions in this process step okay uh, if you have the confusion i'll tell you in the different way okay one it is this one and this is that so do you know that uh, how many you people know about the sales process we already discussed this process so how many you know that sales process i don't know sales process okay so when you getting the customer order in the sales department okay when you getting the customer order what they will do okay they will be uh, uh, doing that outbound delivery okay so based on the customer order they will be creating the uh, outbound delivery this is, this is called outbound delivery OBD. okay how we outbound are creating delivery? The outbound delivery yes what is outbound outbound what is the meaning of outbound out it's going by outside the stock which is moving outside inbound means it's coming into in inside if you are receiving the stock then you will be creating inbound if you are sending outside then you will be creating the outbound because we are already delivering the material and delivering the material itself is a uh, hand over to the customer or hand over to who is asking so the pro yeah the process when you are sending the goods to the customer this process will be followed okay Is it clear or question mark? Yes, uh, okay. So now outbound delivery it is created. Then based on the outbound delivery, they will do the post goods issue. Okay. Then they will do the billing. This is the sales you know, sales process. Okay. So generally they have the sales order number. That means customer order number will be there here. Sales order and customer order number is there. Based on this one, they will be creating outbound delivery, PGA and goods and the billing. Then will be they will be receiving the payment received. Okay, payment received from the customer. Okay, so this is the process as decided. Okay, now for audit MM process, how many you know MM process? Procurement process, how many how many you know procurement I process? I know, I know. Yeah, tell me what is the step one? Receiving the, um, sorry, generating the PR, purchase okay. order. Okay, you leave it about purchase requisition because we are just talking about order level. Okay, so purchase order first. Okay, then what is the next? Goods receipt. Goods receipt. Okay, the and payment. Not payment, vendor invoice verification. Invoice. invoice verification. Then payment. Right, this is the steps. Right. Okay, now this is the whole, who will do this process. Who will do this process? Receiving. Whoever they're receiving the goods, they will do. Right? Suppose my company is receiving the goods, they will do this process. Correct or wrong? Yes. Okay? So receiving person will do. Receiving person will do this process. Whoever may be company code or something, whatever. Okay? Receiving. Then, who will be receiving the order? Who is manufacturing? Manufacturer. So who, who will be receiving the customer order? supplying who yeah. supplying person right supplying person will receive the order right if i'm the if i'm the supplying the goods the i will be receiving the orders from the customer right so in this case what will happen okay my i'm creating the sto instead of uh, okay i'm creating the sto okay the naming is like sto but what we are creating okay so this is who created receiving person who is the receiving person that is receiving company code right correct is that correct yes okay now 
uh, I, by using this reference, I'm just creating the outbound element because we don't need the customer's order here again to create because, okay, already it is a company, a bot, it is there in my system, SAP system, so I don't need to be create the custom order because I have the um, order reference, I still order reference I have. So I can create the outbound delivery in the supplying plan. So the supplying person will be creating the outbound delivery. Correct? Yes. Correct or wrong? Okay. Yes. Now, yes. what will be happen by using this outbound delivery, they will be doing the PGA. They will be packing, ship and everything. They will do transportation and everything it is completed. Then they will do the PGA. Okay. Once the PGA is, which is happened in the receiving supply plan, okay, it will be in the transit stock. Then after the person, receiving person is receiving the goods, the receiving plant will be receiving the goods. Right. Once the PGA is completed, you are received the stock, I receive the stock. Okay. So that means the receiving person, they receive the goods. Correct? Yes. Correct? Now, now then by using this course receipt, I'm verifying that and I also received that vendor invoice. Where you received invoice? Because they write the billing also. Okay? They write the billing also sequentially. They created the one billing here. Okay? By using this billing, okay? By using this billing, I am received that my invoice. Okay, this billing we called as a my, my vendor invoice. Okay, so I am I am receiving this billing document based on the billing document. I am just creating the my invoice, in my system from my own point of view. Correct or wrong? Correct or wrong? Yeah. Correct, right? So based on the yeah. based on the their billing document only we called as a vendor invoice. All right, we are just mm -hmm. getting that vendor invoice here. Right? Yeah, their billing document is nothing but an invoice only. No? This is the from supplying company code and this is from receiving company code. So basically, we receive invoice only with the goods. You are receiving invoice, but who is sending that invoice? Supplier. Ah, so that also you need to create, right? Mm -hmm. So you are you are receiving the bill, then you are verifying that bill and paying them. On. So that verification you are doing in the bus system as a vendor invoice. So here, we just called as invoice in verification. So you can remove that to vendor invoices. We will do the invoice verification here. Okay, clear? Is it clear? Yeah, for me, I'm good. Okay, so in the, this is the separate company code and this is a separate company code. This company code level, they are, they are doing their duties and this com my company code level, I'm doing my duties. Because I'm receiving the billing, so I'm just verifying that. So I'm I'm entering that entry in the my MM, MM transaction to do the verification. Clear? Any questions here? Okay. So then, once it is done, the verification, everything it is completed, then the, my financial team they verified and they okay, this is completed. So they are doing the payment. Then once the payment it is done, whose account it will go? Payment will be received by the supply person. So now it's like the receiving company code. This is the receiving company code. Okay. And this is the supplying company code. Clear or not clear? Still, if you have any question. Yep. So after receiving the payment, once supply receive the supplier receive the payment, they have to close the account, something like that, or that's it. Just receive yeah, the payment is, and I have to. It is automatically closed. Oh, okay. Okay, because it's a, it, now we just checking the our order level, so the order will be closed entirely. There is no pending here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So it will automatically will be clear, cleared. Okay. So any questions here? This process. So this is the ST process, MM process, so merging. So if you see that in the above process and the two process, we are tie up with that ST, right? Here also we tie up with the ST and here also we are tie up with the ST, right? So what we called here is both are MM ST integration, okay? So in inter point of view, if they are asking about MM ST integration, you need to be explained about intra ST one, inter ST. Clear? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, then. So let's go with that. Okay. So let's go first process, the, which is like MM group. There is no, uh, there is no shipment, no billing. So simply we can create PO and do the goods issue. Okay. So let's go to SCP system. So any doubts still here? Hope everything is clear. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, go to this one and Okay, so I received the okay. I'm just creating that. I'm me 21 and so here you need to be uh, remember some uh, SAP level uh, process steps here. So when you're creating the purchase order, okay, the document type is UB, okay, and item category obviously it is a special process. We are not directly buying, so item category is U. Okay, so these two are the very important here in this case. Okay, then I'll be going to that selecting the document type UB. UB is nothing but like a stock transporter. They in the configuration level, this document type level they are configured like what document what item category should be allowed. Okay, so I'm just going with item category UB. Okay, selecting that stock transporter. Then once you selected this stock transporter based on the this configuration. The SAP, there it will be changing the supply plan. So it is asking the vendor number. It will be so it is asking the supply plan number instead of the vendor number. It will be asked the supply plan. Okay, clear. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So that's what we are selecting the document type UB. Okay. So you will be entering that uh, supply plan. So what is my supply plan? Let's say TSC. Okay. TSCT is my come uh, supply plan. Okay, uh, or else I'll just check that stock. Okay, I need to check the stock first. But I remember you. So we are using standard uh, material. We are checking stock for standard material, right? Ah, any any of the material. Yeah. You can take any of the material. If you want to use for your standard, you can use no problem. There is no standard and everything. If someone is created, we are using that cell. We don't have stock here. Okay. So let's go with that 100 if 100. Any of the material is okay. Okay. So now this is the where is the my plan? TSC TAT. Okay, so TSCM have the material, one material. Okay. So I will be planning for the from TSCM. Okay, supply plan have the stock. So TSCM I will be entering that uh, that is a supply plan. So before do, doing this one, okay, what you need to do? This material should be extended to my company code. So, so sorry, my plant, the other plants also. So I'm just planning to do that from TSCM to, to EACD. TA CM2 TA CD okay so what you need to do so just to extend the material to the other plant as well so let's see whether the material it is available or not so go to slash n mm60 let's see whether this material is available or not the TA CM and TA CD okay so let's see TA CM and TA CD Okay, so I'm just uh, checking both plans whether stock is available or not or material is available or not. So both have the plant existed. This plant material and uh, the evaluation class and everything is there. So I'll just uh, I can use directly. It's not required to extend again. Okay, it is already available. If, if it is not there, then you have to go slash for MM01 and extend that material to other plant. Okay, so now I'll be going to ME21N. So because I have the already material which is there in the board plan. Raven, okay. can you show us how to extend the material, let's say sugar? So that's what uh, uh, you need to do the regular practice. I already shown two times material okay. extension in the last two years, but I will show you again, but uh, please do the regular uh, practice. 
so you have to be select here new material and enter so because you are it's already created so it will display automatically what industry and all you need to be select the views what plan what to purchasing data you are selecting what to general plan data so selecting and accounting data you are selecting that you need to be select and enter then which plan you want to be extend okay suppose i just need to be extend that to some uh, what is the what you have other plan do you have any other company code tata tata steel you have do you create it yes sir no tata steel what you created tata steel i think ta is it something like that mm -hmm. no i'll just check in the table level so tata tata tst that is yeah me too you have not created anything in the Tata Steel. Tata Communication you created, but Tata Steel you have created. Okay, maybe I'm just uh, showing that how to do. Maybe I'm just extending to TACH. Okay, so what you can do, select a TACH. Okay, and uh, you can select the store location if you have, then enter. Okay, TA01 is the dash dot. Again, let's check. Let's see Tata 1. Okay, once you enter that, okay, you need to be entered uh, data what uh, data you want to be enter all this information. You just enter that all the information. Okay, so which value in class all you have to be sure. Right? Then if you have to, uh, any plant uh, uh, price and all, you can just select that. Now, now the material which is uh, created this one. So which which plant it is Tata TAT one. So I can go there and I just check that TA T1 is created or not. TA T1 is created or not. Okay, just shift it and execute this one. Okay, now that TA T1 also it is extended. Clear? Okay. Okay, now uh, let's go to ME21 and create that uh, patch order. Okay, now I have the document type UB. And uh, supply plant will be TA CD or TA CM because I don't have the stock. Okay, now uh, then you must be entered that other information which purchasing which store location level which plant level you are creating. Based on that, you can create a patch organization and other information. Okay, then the material you can enter. So, other than that, you will be entering that item category U. U is nothing but like a stock transfer. If you see that we created Kanyam and subcontracting, now we are creating stock transfer. Standard we also created, right? So now we are creating the stock transfer. Clear? Is it clear? No? Now I created this uh, item category U and uh, material number is that, and how much quantity, like one quantity, and which plant you are. You, which plant it is recommended? Which plant it is recommended? The receiving plant have the requirement. So, TSC. TSC is a plant. Okay. Now, I'll be entering all this information. Okay. So, TSC, which is not maintained, the TSCM. Okay. So, that means it is like a different purchasing organization. What is that? TA, TCR. Okay. But which purchase organization it is? TSCD. What is purchasing organization? TATC not uh... purchasing organization is not available. So this purchasing organization is not mapped to this plan. Oh. See, oh. if I just enter that TA, some other purchasing organization, our system will understand. I just enter that TACM. How it is a purchasing organization is not responsible, right? Because this purchase, this purchasing organization is not responsible for this plan. So this is the only for the plant, which is for the TACM. This is the TACD. TSCD have the separate purchasing organization. TSCM have the separate purchasing organization. Right? So that means I have to be entered that which purchasing organization is the responsible for this plan. So which, which purchasing organization is 
TACD, not CM. So I'm just entering that CD. So you need to be entered the properly which purchasing organization also. It should be mapped to a plant. Okay. Clear? Is it clear? So the enterprise structure is like a company code and then plant and then purchasing organization. Mm -hmm. And company, code, company code, plant, purchasing organization, purchasing groups, all these things you are creating in the enterprise structures. Yeah. Enterprise structures and uh, your MM organization elements. Yeah. Okay. So now I just uh, use this one because see uh, my uh, item category and uh, and I have entered the plant. And if you have a store location also, you can enter which store location you want to be reso, you can enter that store location also. So you are, you are planning to reso the stock in this store location. Okay, if you enter here, then you don't need to be entered in the MIGO because you already entered in the PO level. Okay, so this is what we have to be created. So any questions in this STO process? The first process one, we are creating the stock transporter. We are using the document type UB and item category U. Okay, and we enter the supply plant. Instead of vendor, we are entering the supply plant and other details is common. Clear? Can I go ahead? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm saving this one. What's your order? Okay. Then save. Okay. So now what's your order which is created? Stock time for real created under this one. P1 number. Okay. So this is the S2O number. Okay. She created. So just take the copy of this P1 number. S2O number. Okay. Then what is the next step? In the process one, goods issue. Goods issue from supply plant. Where we are doing in MM road. We are going with MM road. Okay. So the supply goods issue will be happen in the MM transaction code. What is MM transaction code? It is MIG. Okay. I'll be going to MIG or transaction code. Okay. Then I will be planning for the goods issue. Okay. With purchase order. Okay, then you will be entering the PO number. Okay, so every moment we have the process, every process we have the one moment type, right? So when you are moving the stock outside, when you are receiving the stock inside, there will be some transaction code, right? Moment type, moment type will be there, right? So in this case, 351 is the moment type. So 351 moment type is stock transfer from supply plant to receiving plant. Plant to Receiving plan when you are using MM rule. Okay. Clear? Is that clear? Okay. So now I'll be entering goods issue, purchase order, then PO number, then the plan you can remove here. Then you can see that your 351 moment type. Okay. So enter. Okay. Then you can see that all other information which is captured, what material you're planning to supply and quantity. Who are doing this process? Goods issue, the supply plant or receiving plant? Receiving goods, sorry, good issue, uh, supply. Supplying plant, okay. So then means you are, you are getting the supplying company code, supply plants, okay. You're getting the supply plant. Now I'll be entering that where exactly stock it is available. You can search and you can see that which store location you need to select. You can see that TATF is the my store location having the stock. So I'm just entering that TATF. Don't enter again TATR and uh, ask them. Okay, so check that where exactly the stock is available. Go and see that to where the stock is available. Okay, which store location it is available. You must be entered that. Again, you just enter the TATR and uh, ask that, okay, I'm getting this error. Uh, this is what we are getting, what I need to do. I have the stock and all. Okay, you must be check that whether stock is available or not in the store location. So if you are selected TATR, okay, then system will check that, okay, there is no stock here. So it is telling that unrestricted use stock which is not available. Okay, so you must be selected where exactly the stock is available. Clear? Any questions? Any questions here? No. Okay. Then purchase orders and you can see all the information. Okay, which location and 
all this information you can see then item okay post now what will happen the stock which is moving from my location it is gone from my location once it is posted from supply plan the stock it is moved so let's see that go to mmbe slash and mmbe and check that the tscm where the stock is available or not okay so the stock which is moved out so the stock which is zero there is no stock here then where it is there let's see in the tatc tscd in the tscd the stock is available no it is not available why because still we are not reserved so where exactly it is there then where exactly it is there if it is not there in the supply plan and if it, if it is not there in the receiving plan then where it is there where it is there it is there in the stock stock in transit stock in transit because it's, it's receiving plan still they are not received only supply plan only they issued only this step this two steps only is completed last step is not completed then i can see that stock in the transit that is the we have the transaction code mb5 okay okay so here you can see that the stock it is there in the stock in transit okay so display stock in transit the stock which is there here clear can able to see this is what i just created right just now i created tacm and tacd and one material right so this is what i created right yeah. okay so now this is a stock in transit so what is the transaction code to see that what is the transaction code to see that mb 5 t mb 5 t is the stock in transit stock in transit see that okay after pga it will be display in in stock in transit clear any questions still here no okay then now we'll be go for the next process so i'm doing the good system i'm doing the good system okay so go to slash and okay am i give so then normal process will be receiving the good system and purchase order number and you have the PO number, okay? And PO number you can enter. So this is the PO number, right? Me twenty three N. And you can see that this is a PO number, five three eight. This is a five three eight. Now enter the one at one moment time. It's the same process. How we are receiving that? The same thing here. One at one moment time. Okay. Then item okay. Check the quantity and just check that where you are receiving. And what process you are doing? What why you are doing this moment? You are doing that goods receipt. Okay, then uh, check that all the information. Who is the supply plant and who is that the purchase order? All this information you can check that <clears throat> and check and item. Okay, please select the shipping instruction. You are, you have to evaluate the instruction. Okay, so they follow the shipping instruction followed. Okay, item. Okay, check. And post. Okay, so the document we are received. Okay, so now let's see that MMBE where the stock is available or not in the my receiving plan because I received the stock. So did you receive the stock? Did we receive the stock? Yes, we have received the stock. Let's see. Go to TSCD. TSCD. And I'm going to here. I have the stock. And TSCM, there is no stock because the stock which is moved. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, so this, this is the MM road. Stock transfer, MM road. Okay, stock transfer between the two plants. So we can just stock transfer between. Two plans. With a member. With a member. 
So yesterday also we discussed about a plan to plan transfer. There also we have the different different step, but here we don't have that proof of document what you are getting ordered. But in this case we have the proof of document which we have the stock transfer order. There is a PO number. Is that clear? Is that clear? Any questions? Yes. Any questions? No, not for me. Okay. Others? Anyone have the questions? Okay, if you don't have the questions, then I will stop today. So tomorrow we'll discuss about the process two and the process three. Okay. So these two are the very important. Clear? Yeah. Okay then. So do practice this one. Okay. Don't wait for the process two and process three. Process two and process three is just a little bit complicated. So do practice for process one and transfer posting. Complete these process steps first. Okay. Yeah. Do more practice. Do more practice. Okay. Okay then. Any questions? Then let me know.